what is going on everyone we're back with our first snowrunner mod review in such a long time today we're going to check out the ix wrecker this one is actually really cool because it's made by an older member of the community who's somewhat new to mods it's a work in progress it looks super promising um we're going to purchase it and we're going to upgrade it and take it out and see how it does in the torture test let's check out the engine here so we've got three, four engine options. We'll choose this one, obviously. It's, I think his own, his own option. Off-road torque shift, Iggy's gearbox, eight auto gears, three low gears, fast high gear. Try it. Soft or firm? That's a tough one. I find firm's good for the most part, but soft gives a little bit more flexibility. We will go with... Ah, this is so tough. Alright, let's go with soft. 35 inch stock wheels. Alright, mud tires, here we go. 57 Tegas or extreme grip double rear. Stream grip double rear. Why do they have chains on them though? These are mud tires. All the. Okay. You know what though? I'll try it. It's rated excellent on literally everything. Uh, extreme spare wheel. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Lots of add ons. Let's go ahead and get the long flatbed or the short. This is tough. We'll get the long flatbed, snorkel. Yeah, let's do the snorkel. Exhaust. Rear bumper. Yeah, front bumper. This is pretty cool. We got some different options. I like that. That's a cool take. Rims. We got some different options here. Alright. Yeah, this looks good to me. These, uh... Tires are definitely very grippy on this ice. This is actually kind of amazing to see. Interior view is glitched, so it's like I said, it's a work in progress, but the grip on these tires is absolutely insane. I know it's rated like excellent, 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 but uh, there's a little damage. Yeah, and a little more. Let's see how it does here in the snow. Oh, that was actually super impressive. I did not expect that at all. all right. All right, you gotta watch the speed when you get up there. I honestly could see this being a super useful work truck. It is uh, pretty good so far. See how it does in this mud pit here. So we're gonna go all-wheel drive and automatic and see how we do first, I guess. We're sinking a little bit. We're actually pushing through this like nothing. I this is the first time I think that we've been able to go through this torture test and not use diff lock or low. This is absolutely amazing. We'll put it in a low plus and put the diff lock on and see how it does there. Struggling a little bit. Let's 
seems to do better in automatic speed, the position for the torque in this particular gear. Possibly, that's what we'll work for. I mean, it's still going good though. No hesitation. Now, the next thing I want to try is I want to try putting a trailer on this. I absolutely love the lights on this mod, and the sound is pretty spot on as well. Let's see how it does with this trailer. Let's back up to it so we can hook it up. Alright, and we got the trailer on. An automatic, same thing, just kind of coasting through. It honestly seems like these tires are the perfect tires, and the suspension's got the perfect height to be able to do this. We were kind of cruising through with this trailer, like there's no problem at all. Yeah, this this truck is doing absolutely amazing. So now I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to recover this truck put on a high saddle and bring a real heavy trailer and see how it does going through this. So let's uh, pull up here and we'll detach this trailer, just leave it here and we'll make those modifications that we need to. Recover, customize, frame, saddle high, and let's go. Let's uh, fast forward the time here a little bit, skip the time, go back into the afternoon. Perfect. I want to bring the big fuel trailer. I know that that's a pretty heavy trailer. Saddle low, okay. So we actually need to get saddle low. Let's customize. Alright. Okay, so with saddle low, the taillights don't match up. Again, work in progress. I just want to make sure you guys are fully aware of this before it becomes live or you guys test it out. Or, sorry, it's already live. Uh, before you guys test it out, it becomes a live issue for you guys. I try to vet. I mean, the lights are still working. They're just glitching with the saddle, I guess. And this trailer is an off-road version of the trailer. It has a bit beefier tires and a little bit beefier suspension as well. Engine sounds on this are pretty nice. It's kind of funny, this off-road trailer almost matches up perfect for height with this truck. Like, it looks like this trailer is made for the truck, basically. And having it hooked where it is, this kind of ground clearance of the trailer is probably pretty substantial for the overall fit and finish of the truck. We're going to go through the snow here again. See how we pull out with the big trailer. Yeah, literally no problem. Put it in a high and you really start cruising. That is, that's amazing. You know, I, I think some of the mods that are coming out now are a lot more tailored to what we need in the game or what kind of, I don't want to say it becomes OP in the game, but definitely gives us a little extra edge. Um, this is one of those mods, and it's still a work in progress, so I'm excited to see how it ends up towards the end. I think once it comes down to it, this will probably be one of the most utilized mods in the game. It's a good work truck. It, it can be a great scout vehicle. It's got 300 liter fuel capacity out of the gate. Haul almost anything. Crazy lift. Does great off-road. Alright, so we're sinking a little bit. You can see the weight difference now. I'm still in all-wheel drive, still in automatic, and I still haven't had to put on the diff lock yet. Let's just keep going and see how this pans out for us. 
And as always, we'll run it back through. We'll put the diff lock on if we need to and see the difference it might make for us. But overall, for a trailer this heavy, we're hauling 7,500 liters of fuel. That's absolutely outstanding for this truck to do on its own. I don't know too many trucks that could pull this through this uh, test. I actually don't think we've had a truck yet on the channel pull a trailer through, no problem, other than the Cat 745C. And a low plus helps a little bit, but not much. I feel like automatic probably uses less fuel. No, same amount. And this trailer has a perfect suspension upgrade on it. As you can see, it's not even dragging. So the only reason we're struggling right now is solely because of the weight of this trailer. That's it. On high, all we end up doing is spinning again because we got all that extra weight. It really bogs it down quite a bit. We keep going though. I think a big part of it is the weight's making the front tires hardly touch the ground, so you can see that as we came up out of that hill. But we'll, uh, we'll take it through here too. We'll go the distance with it. We keep forgetting that the camera doesn't work properly. So far, even here, our biggest issue is just the weight. You can see the front kind of bogged down and not touch, not be as firm, so I don't think we're getting a front tire traction that we should be getting. We're actually pulling this all the way up this mountain now, which is outstanding. Alright guys, and there we have it. This is the IX, I believe it's the IX650. I give this mod a 10 out of 10, hands down. You guys need to check it out. It is on snowrunnermod.io. It is a work in progress. It's being updated frequently and it's got a huge future. Right now it's a substantial truck. It could go through the torture test with basically no problems without the trailer. And with the trailer it's just a little bit slow but we still made it. This is your new scout, your work vehicle, all in one. Something you don't have to worry about making it to the end because you do have so much fuel, you do have so much capacity. If you need to take a fuel trailer with you, you can do that. You can make it through the toughest areas. And then all you do is detach it when you have to go into a tight squeeze and scout around like you need to. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you with the next one.